my channel if you're new here i'm jessica tari and thank you thank you thank you thank you for coming to watch please before you leave don't forget to click that subscribe button down there and turn on the notification bell so when i post my videos you get notified every single time so like the title said i'm just going to be chit chatting we're going to be talking about different things but majorly about starting something new and dealing with the anxiety that comes with it as you can see the african woman in me has refused to be hidden today i'm gonna come out i'm just gonna come out so let's get to the video okay so this past week has actually been really exciting and a lot of good news a lot of uplifted spirits happy emotions all around the place you understand you understand you understand what i'm talking about so like and also this week i've been getting a lot of things a lot of questions basically questions about so how did you start and dealing with all the pressure and anxiety that comes with it you understand especially in this period where everybody's emotions are up and down all over the place you yes. get what i'm saying so i'm going to start from the beginning of this pandemic which started here in nigeria it started in like april early april when the lockdown started in lagos that was when i just started my channel exactly okay first of all i exactly three weeks ago i posted my first video on youtube but i will tell you that before i posted that video it took me about two months to think and to deal with everything that was going on before I even made the video and I posted it. So let's start from there, April. At that time when the lockdown started, IT students like me, it did not benefit us because we weren't doing anything. Basically, we were I don't want to say useless. <laughs> But we were so less busy because like work stopped for us and we couldn't do the work from home thing especially where i worked it wasn't favorable at all i know some people still work but it was not so uh people around me were working and we're doing all sorts of things that engage them and me i'm just there sitting down eating and looking so at the point I actually like two three weeks into the lockdown I actually felt kind of useless like what am I doing I want to do something I know that period when you log and everybody was saying hey I'll use this time to learn something new do something for yourself so people like me people that think like me well our heads are like guy you need to learn something you need to do something new no, 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 no. you're wasting your time ah. emotions were everywhere and I was like I need to start something, I need to start something, I need to start something. Like I said in my first video, I, I like being in front of the camera. I like speaking, like, it makes me, it lifts my spirit in some kind of way. So, at that time, it wasn't really an idea. I, had, I, was, I didn't even think about it as something I wanted to do. All the things I was thinking of, like, doing starting a business, this would be the time to start a business and concentrate. But what was in my head was that during the lockdown, we want to start a business, like, it's you know it's not grow, it's not move. That's how I felt. But I don't know why I was thinking like that because I was part of the people that was patronizing a lot of people's businesses, buying a lot of things. So during that period of feeling meaningless and oh, I was I started buying a lot of stuff like makeup, I started learning, trying to like perfect some things that I actually knew. So I I said I think some because I am a sister we watch a lot of YouTube. Like I can say six hours in a day while watching YouTube alone. So at that period I saw like means I was watching all YouTube videos and I think one day I actually my sister just threw it to me as well and I be like you should start a YouTube channel now. This is what we're talking about okay before that we're talking about how YouTubers do their stocks and everything. And she treats me like you should start a YouTube channel. I was like mm -hmm. it, it was something I talked about before that time but I just felt like I wasn't capable of doing it. So later that evening, that's when I went to Kelechi's channel 
on i think making a video with your phone something something related to using your phone to make videos for youtube yeah. and, I, and i watched it and i was like wow so i could actually do this thing with my phone but i still thought like what's going to be my niche and all these kind of things like it was just I was like ah, it's not something i'll be able to do then that evening one of my friends that is in this field with modu pair she just texted me like jessica no, 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 no. this is not a youtube channel now no 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 it's actually really nice so it's actually really nice. and i was like oh my god i was like do pair you are in this spirit i was like you're in this spirit because this is the same thing that me and my sister are talking about just today so both of them actually pushed like it was kind of a push because Dupe was like no you do it you do it you do it and i was like mm, what would that be doing you know my idea so but like after that time and i was like okay yes let me start thinking i said making a lot of research so, so that was time i said watching a lot of creative videos on how to make videos and i was like i kept before i posted that my first video like i said at least two months we did those two months i was trying to create intro this one things were not working out so well the videos i was making i was seeing so many imperfections in it and oh ah oh god i wake up in the morning and i feel like the time is going what are you doing like two months into the that's april may one morning in may i was like hey, what are you doing I'll just wake up and I'll just be sad. I won't cause everyone around me is working, but I felt like I wasn't doing anything for myself. It was a lot of anxiety. It was a lot of pressure. It was it was a lot that moment because like that was the same time Black Lives Matter, people were dying, COVID, COVID news wasn't even going down a bit. I was not thinking of school, on how I missed so much opportunities and so much things that i'm supposed to learn during my it ah, there were a lot of emotions going uh, going around me and it wasn't nice it wasn't a nice experience but like i was watching i think i was watching a video one day i don't know if this was in kilichi's i think yeah it was in kilichi's channel and she was talking about how your first video would look like and she said that your first video can never be perfect even no matter how good even people that have been in youtube for like six seven years they don't have a perfect video there's always like an imperfection in it so i said to myself i'm like because i had made so many introduction videos and i was like no i can't post this one my eyes looking so long my this is looking this today to be my eyes looking so long my voice i'm not speaking properly this 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 da 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 ah it was it was it was a lot thinking about it now it's like kind of it makes me happy because now i've realized that that can i can never be perfect in a video whatever mistake you see here is normal to make mistakes and to everybody thinking that you must you always because like people around me actually really helped me because at the point i felt really down and i'll be like i'm not doing anything but people were like people around me were like it's never that serious this is also a time for you to take care of yourself baby girl yourself baby girl yourself take care of yourself feel good sleep well wake up and eat properly for all of us that don't used to eat dig it so you shouldn't be feeling too anxious about not being able to do anything over this period it's also a time for you to catch up with your life with your emotions with all the things that you're feeling inside try to structure how you feel structure so you know what makes you happy understand yourself better basically so i said i i made a lot of videos and if you notice in my first video my introduction video the lightning wasn't really bright in some kind of way i think and i was looking at my side a lot i think my right side but that evening i had like i think i had like a swollen eye throughout that day i had like a swollen eye. i don't know if it's my left i think it's this one but that evening i said no i still want to do a little makeup i still was like don't do it because you don't know it was even to serve what's making your eyes swell because i didn't really know what's making my eyes swell so what you don't know what's making your eyes i was like eh. I still did it and that evening after I did it I was like I think I went live on Instagram then after then I was like I'm doing my introduction video 
and however this video comes out that's how i'm going to post it so i did the video and i found so many flaws in it after everything but i was like i already promised myself i'm going to post this video like that and that was how i posted that video honestly because i couldn't really i had to because that introduction video that that was what pushed me to continue i don't know how to really know how to explain it but once i started i knew that that was the beginning and i just had to move from there so doing it actually felt like a load that I actually dropped because if i felt heavy all the time thinking about how i've not made my video how i'm dragging myself back and everything i actually felt heavy and all but i'm grateful that people around me encouraged me helps me even till now the love i get from everywhere is so amazing thank you all of you that have encouraged me all of you out there if you feel like whatever you're doing you know whatever you want to do you're not going to be perfect in it you don't have to be perfect on the first try just start and see your mistakes and learn from them that's that's one thing you should know that whatever you do whatever one you do whether it be video whether it be makeup whether it be whatever anything always start and when you watch it you see your mistakes and try to do better the next time so that's the end of it that's my story guys so over time for the past two three videos i've actually felt i felt i feel like i've done better i've been I, and i could be better so i'm working on it and to every small content creator out there thumbs up to you because your hard work and your your hard work your time your everything that you put into this content creation thing hey it's not easy oh. it's not easy all these days people are saying it's not big so whatever any content creator out there thumbs up to you your hard work and your time and your energy is definitely going to be seen and i'm happy i really feel good because this week i've heard a lot and i'm grateful honestly i'm grateful from the bottom of my heart <laughs> thank you guys thank you thanks guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do that subscribing now then if you have anything to say any words or wisdom or anything please drop it down in the comment section don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video bye